Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Dazza, and today I have a different kind of video for you. This is the top 10 Eminem verses of all time with lyrics. So for those of you that have watched the channel a lot in the past, you will know that when it comes to music, I am one of my favorite artists of all time is Eminem, and he has been since he released Forgot About Dre in probably like late 90s, early, early O's, but he, no, probably even before then, it would have been no, it probably would have been around 2001, 2002. So a good 20 years, 20 odd years that I've been listening to Eminem. And up until his most recent stuff with like music to be murdered to and things like that, I haven't really listened to them as much as I should because it's finding time to listen to him away from... Like, I don't really want my little girl. She's only seven. So I don't, I don't want her listening to Eminem. This. I don't want her to go to school singing fack and things like that. So <laughs> she needs to like stay away from them. But... I listen to Eminem a lot, like cycling to work and everything. You'll see me cycling along with me speaker and like Eminem's blasting out and things like that. So yeah, this is this is going to be an interesting one. And it's the top 10 Eminem verses. So yeah, I might be a bit critical on these and I might be adding some at the end, like based on my favorites. But we'll see. We're going to get straight into this and like we'll, we'll see that what this ranking video is going to be like. And if I feel that, no, that's wrong. <laughs> But and also for you, if you're a massive Eminem fan like me and you've got your own top 10, let me know down below what you would have changed and what you would have added or taken away or whatever. Enjoy. It's all bad now, man. It's all bad. It's all bad. It's all bad. fucked up now, now, now. I need to stop singing along and read what's in the screen. I think this is Ari's game based on ranking. You might lose some mass if you lost and you lost. Shake hands like a man and you swallowed it. Let's see, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, this. I love that. Uh, do you know what? I'm, I'm so glad this was in it. This this is a tune, honestly, that like he's done a lot of diss tracks, but I don't know, this one, he just went hard on this one. Enough dirt on you to murder you. This is what the fuck I do. Mariah it ever recur to you that I still have pictures. However, you prefer to do and that goes for Nick Two Faggot. You think I'm scared of you? You're gonna ruin my career, you better get one. Like I'ma sit and fight with you over some slut bitch cunt that maybe put up with a psycho ass over six months and only spread her legs to let me hit once. Yeah, what you gonna say? I'm lucky. Tell the public that I was so ugly that you fucking had to be drunk to fuck me. Second base, what the fuck you tell Nick Punk in the second week we would dry hump and it's gotta count for something. Listen, girly, surely you don't want me to talk about how I nutted early because I ejaculated prematurely and bust <laughs> The fact that, do you know what? That's what I love about Eminem. That, like, he, he just doesn't give a crap. That, like, he, he, he ain't got no problem, like, sitting there, like, going hard on himself and dissing himself just to get a point across. And that's that's what he does here. That, like, most people, like, are not going to go into a track and, like, admit to things like this and that. But he's got no problems doing it. Surely you don't want me to talk about how I nutted early because I ejaculated prematurely and bust all over your belly and you almost started early and said I was gross. Go get a towel, your stomach's curling, or maybe you do. But if I'm embarrassing me, I'm embarrassing you. And don't you dare say it isn't true. As long as that song's getting airplay, I'm dissing you. I'm a hair away from getting carried away and getting sued. Hey, yo. <laughs> this is just... <laughs> this is just play, playing through my playlist, honestly. I said that, like, at the beginning, like, there's going to be tracks where... Like, there's, there's, I'm going to be cycling to work and you're going to be hearing Eminem. Two of the tracks on there is Drug Ballard and um, The Warning. But if he goes through this and then you get things like, um, there's there's a verse in like Say Goodbye to Hollywood, there's a tune. And like, even down to like Criminal. I love the Criminal part where like he goes into the bank and things like that. And then it's the gunshot on the verse after. These are just brilliant. Like, like I got a feeling that I'm going to agree with a lot of this list. I'm going to have to mute my mic as well because I'm going to be singing along to a lot of these and you don't want to hear that, trust me. It goes like this. Back when Mark Wahlberg was Marky Mark. This is how we used to make the party start. We used to mix in with Bacardi Dark. And when it kicks in, you can hardly talk. And by the sixth gen, you're going to probably crawl. And you'll be sick then and you'll probably bark. And my prediction is you're going to probably fall. Either somewhere in 
the lobby or the hallway wall and everything spinning you're beginning to think women are swimming in pink linen again in the same then in a couple of minutes that bottle of Guinness is finished you are now allowed to officially slap bitches you have the right to remain violent and start wilding start a fight with the same guy that was smart behind you get in the car start and start driving over the island and cause a 42 car fire yeah true it's my life uh, long words I guess 50,000 people See, I, re I, I don't know. When, when it comes to When I'm Gone, I like the song, but for some reason, I always think of this. When I think of When I'm Gone, I think of Mockingbird at the same time. And you can't, like, in my head, it always thinks that, like, which one would I pick out of the two? And it's kind of like I'd go for Mockingbird more. But I remember when When I'm Gone came out, and it was everywhere. And I really did like it at the time, but I don't know. It's one of them that it's very hit and miss as to whether it'd go on my playlist or not. I'm jumping out this seat, the curtain closes, they're throwing roses at my feet. I take a bow and thank you all for coming out. They're screaming so loud. I take one last look at the crowd. I glance down. I don't believe what I'm seeing. Daddy, it's me. Help mommy, your wrists are bleeding. But baby, one well, sweeten. How did you get to sweeten? I followed you, daddy. You told me that you were leaving. You lied to me, dad. And now you made mommy and I bought you this coin, it says number one dad, that's all I wanted, I just want to give you this coin, I get the point, fine, me and mommy are going, but baby wait, it's too late dad, you made the choice, now go out there and show them that you love them more than us, that's what they want, they want you more so they keep screaming your name, it's no wonder you can't go to sleep, just take another pill, yeah I bet you you will, you rap about it, yeah word can keep it real, I hear a all this time I couldn't see How could it be that the curtain is closing on me? I turn around, find a gun on the ground Cock it, put it to my brain Scream God shady and pop it The sky darkens, my light flashes The plane that I was supposed to be on crashes And burns to ashes That's when I wake up, alarm clock's ringing There's birds singing, it's ringing Haley's outside swinging I walk right up to Kim and kiss her Tell her I miss her Haley just smiles and winks at her little sister Almost as if to say there's two songs now that like this, this this is where my mind goes so i'm listening to that like i said i'm very hit and miss with when i'm gone and now there's two songs three songs that have popped into my head that two of them i can remember the name the other one i'm trying to figure it so the first one is 25 to life and i really really like that that song for me that like i went through something in my past where that song if i listen to it like i don't know it just makes me think back at that time and it makes me angry and things like that the other one that it gives me no thought at all i just think it's a banger is you're never over which obviously he sung about proof and then the other one was um i can't remember it was the one with the um ozzy osbourne song um it's gonna come to me it's gonna come to me. I, it's, this is just where my mind goes blank i know the song but Ah, oh, it'll come to me. When it comes to me, I'll, I'll do it. But yeah, let's carry on. It seems as if it's me against the world. Like it was before my life became a movie. And they used to use my motherfucking trailer to tease me with it. But I flipped that script like a refiller. Painkillers to pop the lid off that safety. So it made me feel amazing. Maybe still a bravery. And if I may reiterate, I ain't even need a script. Ain't being conceited, but I made it to radio. Eat a dick. I still never ABC the shit. Don't make me still an 18 wheeler. Break all of my friends out of here and take them straight to the Mercedes. Still a pill all back to the same block that we came from. On a rampage, you crazy for me to flip. What's making you think I need a switch? Cause I'm Adrian Peterson. When he's raging and heated in. On the way to go beat his kid. Well, the track gets spank like he just did. Detroit. I can't never leave this bitch. Sick of being treated like me and shit. But Jesus, I can see just why people quit calling me to do features. And them cyphers on BET. Cause if I wasn't me, I probably wouldn't want to play with me. Neither shit seems to be reaching this fever pitch. 180 degrees in here. I'm yanking the chain of it, or maybe the way in which I'm saying shit is playing with you, but ain't shit changing. It's still the same shit and shady. Still a lady killer since the day I went insane and then attacked the babysitter with a potato pillar and mushed her face into the entertainment center. It's like another plane just sent it into Ukraine. Again, a double mute and triangle and attempted to make a safe and awaiting anyone who ain't affiliated. It could be dangerous. Did you make arrangements with the gangsters who you came here? And if they make us. Right, so listen, I've got to find this song because it's bugging the crap out of me. That even to the point where I couldn't even just sing along to that. It's called "Going Through Changes." Like I'm going through changes, yeah. But I actually do it. Like if you look on my phone, 
that I actually did. I've got a folder on it. It's called Eminem Verses. So basically, like, what I've done is all of my favourite verses from Eminem that I actually just went through and... Oh, my green screen come up then. What the hell? Yeah, so, like, all of the... Um, all of my favourite verses from Eminem songs are just like on one playlist and that's usually what I play going to work. This one is on there as well. Like the, the Lil Wayne part to this song next is is brilliant, but the Eminem part is just incredible. I really enjoyed this recovery album as well. This recovery album was brilliant. I don't know, see, they, they, I've listened to some songs on this and I don't know, I just, there's some of them that I got into from this album, but others, I don't know, it's just, it's almost like he changed his style going into like the later ones, which I understand from him because it, it's, it's trying to keep up with what everyone else is doing and like sticking along them lines or whatever, but I don't know. Like these just never hit the same as some of his older tunes. Manners. You got a couple of ghostwriters, but to these kids it don't actually matter. They're asking me what the fuck happened to hip hop. I said I don't have any. I've also been muting my microphone to sing along. I don't have to do it in this because I couldn't sing along to this. I've not listened to it nowhere near enough to know what he's getting on about. Answers because I took a nail when I dropped my last album. It hurt me like hell, but I'm back on these rappers and actually coming from humble beginnings. I'm somewhat uncomfortable winning. I wish I could say what a wonderful feeling. We're on the upswing like we're punching the ceiling, but nothing is feeling like anyone has any fucking ability to even stick to a subject. It's killing me. The inability to pin humility. Why don't we make a bunch of fucking songs about nothing and mumble and fuck it? I'm going for the juggle. shit is a circus. You clowns that are coming up. Don't give an ounce of a mother. Fuck about the ones who are here before you did make rap Let's recap, way back, and tease that Recap, gonna take decks, eight dats for the G-Raps And came back, we need three stacks ASAP, and bring that to the ace back Cause it's half of these rappers have brain damage All the lean rap and face tats are about like tree sap I don't hate trap, and I don't wanna seem mad But in fact, what I owe me at the same cat That would take that feedback and aim back I need that but I think it's inevitable They know what button to press It will ever the pull to get me to snap though And if I paid attention I'm probably making it bigger But you've been taking your dicks On a fucking back hoe On the freaking minute Got me thinking of finishing Everything with a seed of minutes And reaping the benefits I'm asleep at the will again As I begin to thinking about an evil intent Of another beat I'm a kill again Cause even if I got it in a beating a pill again Even ketamine and methamphetamine With a mini tin It better be at least 70 or 300 milligram And I might as well Cause I'ma end up being a villain again Level to the shit I got an elevator You could never say to me I'm not a fucking record breaker I sound like a broken record Every time I break a record Nobody could ever take away the legacy I made a never cater Motherfucker never got a right to be this way I got spikes inside my DNA But I wrote to the wills fall off I'm working tirelessly Hey, it's the moment y'all been waiting for Like California wish it rain for And that drought y'all been praying for My downfall From the 8 mile to the south pass To the same marsh So that outlaw that they say is a writer Might have fell off I'm back on that bull like the cow Okay, so I'm not really too keen on this album and the, the songs that come with it. That, like, reading, like, if you're not too familiar with an Eminem verse and you sit there and you're reading along as, as he's rapping it, that it, it's, it's like reading a book that it's absolutely incredible. Like, his penmanship, like, there's there's no one better in terms of writing. Like, I, I for for what he does and for how he writes, I, I beg you to find someone that can do it better than Eminem. It's just crazy, like crazy incredible. And even for these songs that I'm not really too keen on, 
that they still sound absolutely incredible. But yeah, I think we're going to stick to the same Kamikaze album here for the next one. We'll see. Hypochondriac, hanging out at the laundry mat. Where all the raunchy, fat, white, trashy blondes be at. Dressed like a sailor, standing by a pail of garbage. It's almost dark and I'm still trying to nail a trailer park bitch. I met a slut and said, what up, it's nice to meet ya. I like to treat you to a fago and a slice of pizza. But I'm broke as fuck and I don't get paid to the first of next month. Sorry. But if you care to join me, I was about to roll this next blunt. But I ain't got no weed, no fillies, or no papers. Plus, I'm a rapist and a repeated prison escapist. So give me all your money and don't try nothing funny. Cause you know you're stinking ass it's too fat to try to outrun me. I went to grab my gun, that's when the rats put it on me. With an uppercut, hit me with a basket of lawn <laughs> do, do you know what? Around the time, like, when the Slim Shady LP came out, and, like, this was the album, I believe, that had, like, my name is and everything on. That, like, people just listening to these and thinking, like, what the hell is this man on? <laughs> like, I don't think, like, there was anyone around at that time, or even before him, that would even think of, like, releasing songs going on, like, with a, a load of the crap that he was on. And I think that's obviously what's what elevated him because no one else was doing it. But people must have been listening to. Can you imagine like Dre that like signed him and then he was like, Eminem's like, I'm gonna record this song and he starts recording it and Dre's like, What the hell have I signed? This this, this man's crazy. He's like, don't leave me in the booth on my own with him. I fell through the glass door, started causing a scene, slid across the floor and flew right into a washing machine. Jumped off with a broken back. Thank God I was smoking crack all day and doped up off coke and smack. All I wanted to do was rape the bitch and snatch her purse. Now I wanna kill her, but so I gotta catch her first. Ran through Rally's parking lot and took a shortcut. Saw the house he ran up in and shot a fucking porch up. Kicked the door down to murder this divorce slut. Looked around the room, that's when I seen her bedroom door shut. I know you're in there, bitch. I got my gun popped. You might as well come out now, she said. Come in, it's unlocked. I walked in and all I smell was Liz Claiborne And seen her spread across the bed naked watching gay porn She said, come here big boy, let's get acquainted I turned around to run, twisted my ankle and sprained it She came at me at full speed, nothing could stop her I shot her five times and every bullet bounced off her I started to beg, no, please let go But she swallowed my fucking leg hole like a negro With one leg left, now I'm hopping around crippled I grabbed my pocket knife and sliced off her right nipple Just trying to buy me some time, then I remembered this magic trick Go, go, gadget dick Whip that shit out and ain't no doubt about it. It hit the ground, caused an earthquake and power outage. I shout it now, bitch. Let's see who gets the best. Stuck that shit in crooked and fuck that fast luck to death. <laughs> I, you know, honestly, I don't really listen to that song that much, but that, that is a banger. I think that's one that has to go back on the playlist. This this had to be in there. Probably one of his most iconic songs in is, is Stan and. Like, it'll be interesting to find out, like, what verse from the song he's actually put in there. I've got a feeling it's the last verse from Stan when he drives off of the bridge. But, yeah, this, I, I really do like this song. That This this is a tune. First four. Yeah. Dear Stan, I meant to write you sooner, but I've just been busy. You said your girlfriend's pregnant now. I See, I, I probably would have gone for, like, verse 3. Like, dear mister, I'm too good to call and write my fans. This is the last... Yeah, no, I've, I would have probably got... That's my favourite verse from that song. That I do like this full verse. But, yeah, I probably would have said verse 3. Far along is she? Look, I'm really flattered to record your daughter that. And here's an autograph for your brother. I wrote it on the starter cap. I'm sorry I didn't see you with the show. I must have missed you. Don't think I did that shit intentionally just to diss you. But what's the shit you said about you like to cut your wrist too? I say that shit just clown is all. Come on, how fuck your bitch? You got some issues, Stan. I think you need some counseling to help your ass from bouncing off the walls when you get down some. And what's the shit about us meant to be together? That type of shit'll make me not want us to meet each other. I really think you and your girlfriend need each other. But maybe you just need to treat her better. I hope you get to read this letter. I just hope it reaches you in time before you hurt yourself. I think that you'll be doing just fine if you relax a little. I'm glad I inspire you with Stan. Why are you so mad? Try to understand that I do want you as a fan. I just don't want you to do some crazy shit. I seen this one shit on the news a couple weeks ago that made me sick. Some dude was drunk and drove his car over a bridge and had his girlfriend in the trunk. And she was pregnant with his kid. And in the car they found a tape, but they didn't say who it was to. Come to think about it, his name was... Damn. Yeah, now nah, see, I I would have gone for the third verse. Yeah, I, I think the third verse in that song is absolutely brilliant. 
This this Marshall Mathers LP is probably one of the greatest rap albums of all time. The song, the the tracks in it. There's one or two that's a bit meh, and then you got like the um the alludes like the Steve Berman like things the skits and things like that that you can skip at but if you just think of this that that you've got like um even towards the end like under the influence and kim and then you've got the real slim shady the way i am and then you've got who knew kill you and yeah it's just there's so many songs in this that are brilliant but this was um a, was it who knew? Damn. this is because um just Marshall Ma yeah, this is just Marshall Mathers. All they did was doubt me, it was doubt me. Now everybody would have run their mouth and try to take shots at me. Take shots at me. Yeah. You might see me talking, you might see me walking. You might see me walking in dead rot while a dog with his head chopped off in the park with a spike collar. Hollering at him because the son of a bitch won't quit barking. Or leaning out a window with a cock shotgun. Driving up the block in the car that they shot Pac in. Looking for pigs, killers, dressing ridiculous. Blue and red, like I don't see what the big deal is. Double barrel, 12 games, bigger than Chris Wallace. Pissed off, cause Biggie and your Pop just missed all this. Watching all these cheap imitations get rich off them and get dollars. It should have been theirs like they switched wallets. And amidst all this Chris popping and wristwatches, I just sit back and just watch and just get nauseous. And walk around with an empty bottle of Remy Martin, starting shit like some 26 year old skinny car. God damn it! An anti pack street and Ricky Martin. His instincts to kill in sync, don't get me started. These fucking brats can't sing and Britney's garbage. What's this bitch retarded? Give me back my $16. All I see is sissies and magazines smiling. What if I happen to wildin' out and being violent? What if I happen to catch in the good old fashioned passing it ass whooping and getting your shoes, coat, and your hat took it? And new kids on the block suck a lot of dick. Boy girl groups make me sick. And I can't wait till I catch all you faggots in public. I'ma love it. Vanilla <laughs> Ice don't like me. Uh -uh. Said some shit and vibe to spite me. Yeah. They went and dyed his hair just like me. <laughs> a bunch of little kids wanna swear just like me. And run around screaming, I don't care, just bite me. Nah, nah. I think I was put here to annoy the world. And destroy your little four year old boy, your girl. Plus, I was put here to put fear in faggots who spray fagel root beer and call themselves clowns cause they look queer. Faggots who dope and silent gay, claiming Detroit when y'all live 20 miles away. And I don't wrestle, I'll knock you fucking faggots the fuck out. Ask them about the club they was at when they snuck out. After they ducked out the back when they saw us and bucked out. Ducked down and got paintball shot at their truck. Plow. Look at y'all running your mouth again when you ain't seen a fucking mile road south of 10. And I don't need help from D12 to beat up two females. And make up when they try to scratch me with lean nails. Slim anus, you damn right, slim anus. I don't get fucked in mind like you two little flaming faggots. Okay, so that's a tune. That is a tune, honestly. And we're going to get to number one now. And all I keep thinking in my head for some reason is the verse from Criminal. But others keep popping in. So, like, you got the verse from, like, one shot, two shot. Like, I never seen no shit in this. Like, Oh no, I've never seen no shit like this in my life before. People are still camped out. So his verse in that is incredible. And then like I said, you're never over 25 to life. There's there's just so many. There's the verse from um ah oh, what's that space band that could be in there. I have absolutely no idea what's what's coming in at number one here. I've got a feeling whatever comes in at number one, I'm going to disagree with, unless it's one of these songs that I've mentioned. But it's going to be interesting. But a lot of this list has been spot on. That based on probably what he's ranked it on, that I probably wouldn't have changed too much. Maybe a couple of tunes from the Kamikaze one, but we'll see. We'll see. Is it going to be Rap God? Number one. It's going to bug me now. I'm going to try and figure it out before we actually get to it. But is it going to be Rap God? I'm not sure. Oh, geez, about to get smoked like bro. Oh, okay. Lose yourself. Yeah, it's it's a Grammy Award winning song. That, but the thing is, it's first free. So, if you, yeah. So I'm trying to figure out what first free is from this actual um, from this album, the the original soundtrack. I really enjoyed the song Rabbit Run. The song there. That there's I don't, I don't believe there's a chorus that it's just one long verse and then you had um eight mile road which was brilliant but i do like lose yourself there's a demo version that i never even knew existed and he didn't even know he recorded it at the time but there's a demo version that 
I've really started getting into that I, I won't play in case it's not on here for a reason but yeah let's get into this one I'm trying to remember what verse 3 is but I'll, I'll, I know this song very well so when he starts getting to it oh no <laughs> Change what you call rage. Tear this motherfucking roof off like two dogs cage. I was playing in the beginning, the mood all changed. I've been chewed up and spit out and mood off stage. But I kept priming and step right in the next cipher. Best believe somebody's paying the pod piper. All the pain inside amplified by the fact that I can't get by with my nine to five and I can't provide the right. The guy that actually, at the end of this movie, um, Eight Mole, the guy who played, was it Lotto? The one, the one with the braids and the vest, I think he was in the movie. He actually recently died. I think it was last week, a week before that he died. But yeah, he actually passed away. I can't believe it. The, and then, but this this is a movie that, like, especially like the, the battle raps at the end. I really like the battle rap around the food truck in this movie. But the ones at the end, the, like the showdown, that I, I don't think I've ever gone and watched a clip from a movie more than the end clip to this movie. <laughs> Life for my family, cause man, these goddamn food stamps don't buy diapers. And there's no movie, there's no Makai Pfeiffer. This is my life, and these times are so hard. And it's getting even harder trying to feed and water my seed. Plus, see, there's all the caught up between being a father and a prima donna. Baby mama drama screaming on a too much for me to want to stay in one spot. Another damn monotony has gotten me to the point I'm like a snail. I've got to formulate a plot or end up in jail a shot. Success is my own. Okay, I really enjoyed this video. Like I said, uh, there's yeah, there's some songs in here that I would have changed around. I would have maybe put some in different orders. There's some missing that I believe should have been in there. But that's just my opinion. But let me know for you as well. Let me know if there's any songs in here that you would have taken out or added in or anything. Let me know. It's going to be interesting to know. But I really enjoyed this. Guys, listen, if you got this far, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help. But until next time, take it easy. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Be kind. And I will see you in the next one.